nerds and nerdettes and we little nerdlings all. It's your buddy, Big John and G, the Two Gun Fixit presents Legendary Gaming. Hey everyone, good to see you for this Tabletop Takeout Tuesday. As you know, I'm your buddy Big Johnny G, and uh, I'm here to tell you about games. Give you bullet points, actually, about games that I enjoy, games I like, games I love, games that I want to hit the table, and why I think you may enjoy these games as well. So again, not a full round on, on review, but let me just tell you why I like a game. Now, this game in particular comes to us from the past. This game is time travel to us. And has altered a little bit along the way, but not much. Just enough to look updated. At least in the box. <laughs> so yeah, me and my wife uh, have been playing a little bit of Mousetrap. And we've been having enough fun that I decided I wanted to do one of these. So when you join me down the table, and I'll tell you why I think Mousetrap is a good game. Mousetrap, can you believe it? <laughs> my wife got it for me as a, as a birthday gift uh, earlier in the year, and I was surprised. I really only played it a couple of times when I was a kid, and it always seemed to have problems with the actual uh, trap part that fell down. Never seemed to work right. We had a little bit of trouble with it, but uh, I think we really figured out that the problem was uh, the, the game really has to be on a level surface. Everything about the board, the table it's on, or, or floor, wherever you're playing it, needs to be needs to be level. But once once we had that going, wow, it was a lot of fun. The entire from beginning to end, it was all really kind of fun. It still stands up, I think, as a, as an entertaining game that is worthy of people's time to play. At its heart, it's really just a Rube Goldberg board game. If you're not familiar with Rube Goldberg, that's exactly what the game is. Uh, Rube Goldberg was an illustrator, wow, I think back in the 30s. Uh, and he, he started these drawings of overly complicated machines to do super simple little tasks. And it took off, and uh, one of its one of its uh, descendants to this day is the game of Mousetrap, and it does capture that Rube Goldberg ness perfectly. In fact, I don't know of any other Rube Goldberg inspired board games that I've ever seen or heard of. So if you if you know of any, please put put it in the comments. I'm really really curious. <laughs> Yeah, put it right down there. But um, anyway, I digress. The, the game is super simple. The rules are super simple. I mean, you can literally start playing as you are reading the rules, and you're not going to miss a beat. That's something I enjoy about this game. You don't find that a lot. That harkens back to, to a lot of the older style of games. Remember, they used to have the instructions on the inside the lid of the cover because they, there really wasn't much uh, rule-wise to these games. And this, this still captures that whole feeling. Now, I also have to admit that building as you're going, it, it, it added something to the game. Watching it, literally watching this game build up to its full uh, 3D potential. And as I've stated many times in other videos, I'm a sucker for board games with 3D elements. And this takes it a step further because you're building it up, you're watching it turn by turn, you're watching this machine grow right in front of you but that's nothing compared to the amount of fun once it goes off and it's because of the movement it's because of the ball and the traveling and watching it and everything it has a has a very similar satisfying fun exciting feeling that fireball island has for that very same reason 
and watching the ball and mousetrap go through. You know, watch, well, you know, watching the build up to get the ball kicked off the bucket and roll down the the, the ramp uh, to the slide, hitting the the arm, knocking the other ball into the tub. Uh, it's 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 almost musical. <laughs> it really is, and. Uh, and I still enjoy seeing the whole thing go off like that. It's very satisfying. It is a, a, a kind of game that is obviously fun for the entire family. You can play it with your kids. Uh, you can play it with your with your siblings. You can play it with your spouse, uh, your parents. It, it will it will capture a spark of fun from any age group that, that, that plays it. And a lot of that, I think, does have to do with 3D board environment and watching the movement of this whole thing. Almost makes me wish someone would turn the old video game Marble Madness into a board game. I'm sure that'd be a little bit too difficult. But anyway, this game is thrilling to watch uh, in, as well as play. Even when it's not your turn, it's, it's fun. If you haven't played Mousetrap since you were a kid, go out and play it again. Just play it on a very level field. And make sure the trap part is just barely hanging on. And you shouldn't have any problems. Thanks for watching and seeing what I had to say about this old classic board game and if it stood up or not. It does! <laughs> I'm your buddy Big John and G for Two Gun Fix It Presents... Legendary gaming, and my friends, I am out of here. <laughs>